How do the commercially available software packages calculate basic statistics? Stay tuned. This is the Six Sigma .org basic statistics template that's downloadable from the website on the downloads tab. As with all of our templates, anywhere you see a yellow cell is where it, uh, user response is required or where you enter data. So in this case, we're going to leave the data in here. Notice that I've limited uh, this particular template to a thousand data points, and in fact, I have a thousand data points in here. Over to the right, we've got a graphic that shows the distribution of the data itself. And so let's launch into the statistics. The first thing we're going to do is check for data normality, whether or not the data is normal. We'll use Anderson Darling, that's a common uh, normality test. And in this particular case, this data set is normal. N is the number of data points, and as I just demonstrated, we actually have a thousand of those. So again, if I scroll to the bottom, you'll see we have a thousand data points. So that's the number of data points. The mean, of course, otherwise known as the average. So the uh, the average of this uh, of the values in these thousand data points is about 99.81. And if I look over here, it's somewhere in this neighborhood. So somewhere right around there. The standard deviation. Now remember, the standard deviation is a measure of the distribution. And in this particular case, it's 12.51. So what it's saying is, if I draw an imaginary line through the center here at the uh, mean, all other data points lying to the right or to the left of this imaginary line that I'm drawing here at the mean, all other data points on average reside about 12.5 units away from uh, this 99.81. Now, some you can see are quite far out and others are quite close in, but on average, it's about 12.5 units away from 99.81, all the other data points. The minimum value or the lowest value in the data set is uh, 57.22. Uh, the median, I'll come back to the first quartile, the median is 99.81, uh, so ni uh, sorry, 99.82. 99.82 means that that is the point at which one half of the data is a value less than and, and one half of the data points are a value greater than 99.82. First quartile, so the first 25 percent of all the data points lie uh, in the range between 57.22 and 91.07 and the third quartile, three quarters of the data points lie in the range 57.22 to 108. The maximum value in all of the data points here is 137.79. Now the bin size is 3.39. Each one of these uh, bars, if you like, uh, this is actually a histogram, uh, so this is frequency. So what I've got here is in uh, the, the, the width of this, even though it's hard to detect here in the graphic, but the width of this is 3.39 units. And so all values approximately uh, around 79 um, and plus 3.39, all the values in this data set fall into that. And there's about 23 or 24 of those. So that's the bin size. The number of bins we have, so if you were to count up these bars, there's 24 uh, bins. And then the data range is simply the range of values, the maximum minus the minimum, so 80.58. Now, remember I said that yellow cells require an input. Here we're going to ask you for your confidence level. And the confidence level is uh, 1 minus alpha. So in this case, I've got 95% confidence level or an alpha of 0.05. I put that in here, and I want that because I'm now going to calculate a confidence interval for the mean. So let's pause here for a second. The assumption is that these 1,000 data points represent a sample and not the population. And if that's true, then the mean that I've calculated 99.81, if it is indeed for the sample and I'm, I, I would like to estimate it for the population, uh, I wouldn't know what that value is. And so I calculate what's known as a confidence interval around the mean of 99.81. So what I'm saying is, there is 95% um, likelihood that the true population mean is somewhere between 99.04 and 100.59. And for the sample that I've drawn, it's 99.81. Similarly, for the median, uh, the median uh, we calculated to be 99.82, and the confidence interval around the median is 98.71 and 100.83. And if you click on there, of course, you can see the calculation and how that's done, and so you can follow along at your leisure. Similarly, the confidence interval for the standard deviation, so we calculated the standard deviation to be 12.5, and we believe that for the population, 
it would be somewhere between 11.98 and 13.07 and I'm 95 percent confident that it's between those two numbers. Now uh, I can change the confidence level here. I could put in uh, 0.1 which is a 90 percent confidence level uh, but for our purposes uh, we'll leave it at 0.05 which is pretty typical. Now off to the side here or underneath the, the histogram uh, this bar represents the uh, confidence interval. So notice that uh, because this is for the mean, the mean was 99.81, so 99.81 is represented by that dot. And then the lower range, 99.04, is represented by this uh, little triangular dot. And then the upper uh, end of the uh, confidence interval is 100.59, represented by this dot. And the same thing for the median and the standard deviation. Now, if we just scroll over here to the right, uh, I do show you all the calculations in these templates. So uh, I'm in this area of the spreadsheet, I'm determining the bin size and the count belonging in each bin. And then a little over uh, further to the right here, I'm calculating the quartiles using what's called a SAS4 method. So I'm just going to scroll home. And that's really it. And you'll notice that if you have access to commercially available software, you'll notice that for this particular data set, these are in fact the numbers uh, that you'll get. I would encourage you to go to the website sigsigma.org. There's a lot of help out there, some free downloads, and we do offer some online training, uh, an introduction to statistical training, which covers some basic statistics and more detail on how you calculate the mean and the standard deviation, the variance, and so forth. So thank you for watching the video, and uh, happy data analysis.